how to create your very own 24 seven fan store in just a few simple steps. First, let's get started by going to foundersport.com and logging in. Under sales tools, you'll see create 24 seven fan store. If you don't have a ProSphere account number, you'll need to contact customer service so we can get you all set up. But if you do, a lot of your information will be pre-populated for you. Let's go ahead and name our store. In this case, this is gonna be the Mustang Spirit Store. Our dealer name, phone number, and email address is pre-populated. These next two steps are optional. If you wanna replace the ProSphere logo with your dealer logo, upload this in a size of 400 to 700 pixels wide, 120 pixels high. And as you do that, you'll see your store preview change. Next, you can include a store banner that your customers will see to draw even more attention. This should be 1145 wide and 105 high. Last on this screen, let's decide about fundraising. If you want any fundraising added to the cost of the garment, simply slide this to on and set the amount that you would like to charge in 10 cent increments. Let's go ahead and add a dollar for fundraising and you can include an optional fundraising message. Now that we've got our store setup all complete, let's dive in and get the garments and the graphics dialed in. On this screen, we're gonna start by uploading the logo that will go on the garments. We'll take graphics in any format, but the higher the resolution, the better. And don't worry if you've got a background, we will automatically remove this before we produce your apparel. So after we've uploaded our logo, let's get those colors selected. In this case, we're gonna pick Kelly green, black, and white. This little preview will show us how our graphic is interacting with our colors to give us a chance to change things around. But so far, that's looking really, really good. And now for the heart of it, let's get the product selected and make sure we're happy with the price. We're gonna pick what category of garments we want featured. In this case, we're gonna show men's and women's, but not youth and girls. Our fundraising portion carried from the prior screen, and we're gonna set our profit margin. This will determine the final price that our customers are gonna pay. We default to 35%, but we can change that if we wanna to go to 40 or even higher. But in this case, let's go ahead and leave it at 35. In this menu below, you'll see each option you have to feature on your store. It's MSRP, the price you pay as a dealer with a little bit of credit card fees included in there, what the selling price will be at this margin, any fundraising portion, and finally, your profit. So again, this is our MSRP, but at a 35% margin, this is the price that our customers are gonna be asked to pay. It's a good idea to include about 15 or so items on your store. So if there's any items here that you don't want to include it, go ahead and unclick them. We're going to go ahead and remove the shorts. We'll take the ugly holiday sweater off. We'll go ahead and pull these replica jerseys off because it's not really appropriate for this kind of store. And we'll go ahead and pull the joggers off as well. Notice that some of these products come with personalization options, the pullover hoodie and the tech tee. So you don't need to include both the personalized option as well as the non-personalized option. So I'll go ahead and unselect the men's tech tee and the women's tech tee. And I'll go ahead and pull off the pullover hoodie. I'll go ahead and pull these two off. So now I've got my item streamlined. Now don't worry at this stage about getting it perfectly dialed in. When your store launches, you can always pull products off. All right, so now that I've got everything set, I'll click final review. This is just a final review of everything we set. It's the Mustang Spirit store with a 35% margin. There is fundraising. It's got all my information there. The colors are set. These are the garments that are gonna be included with the selling price, the fundraising portion, and my profit. 
All right, so if you need to go back and make any changes, just click back to customize the products. Or if you need to absolutely start over, you can do that. But in this case, everything looks great. We're just gonna su submit, request your 24 seven fan store. Stores will be set up in about one to two business days, give or take and you'll receive an email when your store is ready to go. You can keep tabs on what's going on with your 24 seven stores under my account. On the left-hand menu, there's a couple new items, manage 24 seven fan stores and 24 seven sales tracking. Manage 24 seven fan stores shows all the stores that you've requested and their status. For instance, we just requested this store and it's processing takes a couple hours or so for it to show up here, but this was just requested today, versus these, which are all clickable and are live and ready to promote. Once a store has gone live, while you can't change any of the garments or change the colors or change the graphic, you can remove products that you no longer want to feature. For instance, if we decided that we didn't want to include these particular ugly holiday sweaters, we could remove them by clicking remove, scrolling down to the bottom and requesting product removal. It usually takes the team a day or two to get that done. When you have sales on your 24 seven fan stores, you can track those here. Sales are logged when the garments ship out and that's 10 business days from when your customers order. You'll see what period the sale was made profits plus fundraising, any portion that's been earmarked for fundraising and therefore what your profit is. Profit checks are mailed directly to you in the middle of each month. If you have any questions at all about 24 seven fan stores, please email us at marketing at foundersportgroup.com.